Zambia has gone through a lot of transformations. There are many interesting aspects about Zambian history which even Zambians don't realize. Zambia's independence was not enough if our neighbors were still under colonial rule. Zambian history to me means everyone's history. I need to discover what am I or where am I coming from? What, what does Zambian history mean to me in, in general? You'd, you'd be surprised actually how much history, how much Zambian history is unknown and how influential and how much valuable it is, not just in, in Zambia itself, but in the region and the world at large. Zambian history to me means everyone's history. So as somebody who was born and raised in Zambia, two parents who were born in Myanmar, who are ethnically Indian, I'm really interested in the stories of everyday minority people, but also collectively um, the stories that we may not see in national archives, in institutional archives, what other stories were happening along that period that may not be documented. So I'm really interested in understanding how one belongs. What does Zambia's history mean to me as a person? For me as Chileshe, it tells me who I am, where I come from, and where I'm going to. When I look at Zambian history, it makes me feel like Zambia is a country that has not just lived for itself. Our first Republican president always to say that Zambia's independence was not enough if our neighbors were still under colonial rule. Zambian history gives me my place, uh, a sense of belonging, a sense of responsibility for the future, uh, and a sense of purpose uh, for what I want to see Zambia to become. There are many interesting aspects about Zambian history which even Zambians don't realize how our history is not just the history of this land called Zambia but it's a history of the region, it's a history of the world. Zambia is a country where you discover that a lot of our past is actually connected to different people residing in different places of the world. Our history is the history of our neighbors. Our history is the history of people living in far off lands who once lived in Zambia and share the Zambian spirit. Zambia has gone through a lot of transformations. In fact, Zambia itself is an amalgamation of different histories and we continue to evolve. But the thing is, a lot of that history keeps on happening without us really documenting it in a meaningful way. And the most impactful spaces of history are the ones that have been documented and continue to be repeated. Each one of us, in whatever we do in our daily lives, we are historians and we need to preserve and how do we preserve this history? Is to learn how to pass it on. As a country or as a people, we need to know where we've come from, where we are going and where we are. If we do not read, people will just lie to us and say, this is how things were then. So history needs to be maintained. So I think for me, Zambian history as it stands today, there's a, a really big insurgence or a, a rising action in interest in this. And so for me, this is really um, important because Zambian history for me is actually fun functioning in today. Not just because we're living it, but because we're also trying to remember it. I'm a lover of history. From time immemorial, when I was a little child, I used to love history. 
So I just don't know. I found myself in the working for the National Archives where there's so much history that you would not want to leave when you start reading something in the archives. If you don't know the Zambian history, you will not understand why people want to come to live in Zambia from elsewhere. We've got a rich history, we've got a rich wealth, both natural and human resource, and our culture as well. And we want the world to see it, and uh, we can all be a part of doing something. The value of Zambian history to me is the underlying theme of of oneness, of unity, of, of strength and of peace that I feel is something that can give strength not, to every, not only to every Zambian actually, but can give strength to the region and to, to the world at large to learn from, from Zambians and how through the years we, we've managed to, to retain that, that identity of who we are and how different we are despite being a nation of, of diverse cultures and, and traditions.